it is Superman time. Watch my Superman video. You won't believe it. Uh, I was, uh, it's all unscripted, eh? Uh, sometimes I think the best things are unscripted, but I have been the writer of uh, prophecy. I am the strong and mighty one of Isaiah 28. Line upon line, precept upon precept have I been bringing forth. And everybody wants to ignore me because I am declaring the equality of all mankind before the Lord God. This is provable because it is the shattering of the power of the holy people. Daniel 12, 7. Cause when God's word opens because God's word was only closed until the time of the end. Opens because it is the message of Malachi 3, 1 that prepares the Lord's way. Open because it is the message, message unto Israel of Isaiah 41, to which uh, they would only ignore according to prophecy, but the message unto Israel that they have inherited all mankind, I, uh, Isaiah 54, 3. So, man, this is exciting because this is provable at this point. God told Jeremiah he was going to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations at the end, not built for, for solely on his unconditional love. And man, it's time to exalt our Lord of love, our Lord of always as love. That is his name to which every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Jesus Christ Almighty is Lord. He is the majesty of majesty. So arise, it's time to ascend into a, a greater understanding of his love. Never again do his people need to... Uh, Look through a glass darkly, only knowing in part. For he who has been foretold to bring forth meat for the master's household, Matthew 24, has come. And I tell you, born again, it was never of believing. It was always of the heart to keep your love alive. Jesus said, if that counts, that to be born again, you must be as a little child with your love alive as a verb, moving, not being in the land of the walking dead, committing the unforgivable sin of letting your light of love go out, which is God's light in you. We are angels in the flesh, people. All of creation has been groaning with great expectations for the revelation of who are we and why do I know? Because the Word of God says this, Isaiah 45, of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands, command ye me. I did, and I was writing by a lamp for seven minutes that was never plugged in, feet away. But man, if this is true, we are angels in the flesh, people. Jesus said that we are gods in John 10. Um, he flat out said so. The first is last. The last is first. We are created higher than the angels. The glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. That is why we shall judge the angels according to the fallen ones, according to the word. That is why we shall be as the angels, neither male nor female. Because that's exactly what we've always been. And God in the flesh came to us, Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Ascend now, people. Come.